Hey YouTube, I'm Dean Cernils and welcome back to Make It Work. Peanut butter is a pantry staple, but did you know it can be used in cocktails? Well, I'm here to show you three peanut butter cocktails that will surely become your new favorites. Here's the peanut butter old fashioned. Starting off with Master of Mixes agave syrup. This is an agave nectar. Just half an ounce. Master of Mixes agave and bourbon. One and a half ounces of your favorite bourbon. And half an ounce of cinnamon whiskey. Now here comes the star of the show. We would like to use creamy peanut butter. Make sure you're using creamy peanut butter. It's much easier to work with and you don't want peanuts floating around inside your drink. I'm getting a great big spoonful, approximately an ounce. And what we want to do is stir this around inside the glass. We essentially want the spirits to start dissolving the peanut butter. It does take a second. We're to make this one work. And we'll add some ice cubes. Here we go. And we're going to just shake this one up. You have to shake it really, really hard because we want to extract even more of that great peanut butter goodness. Go straining over fresh ice. I always shake and strain over fresh ice. And through a fine strainer again, we're making this work. Look at that. Bourbon, cinnamon. Making a really incredible cocktail. I have a fresh candy here, just a caramel candy right on the edge of the glass. There it is. We have a peanut butter, old fashioned. Here's a super fun cocktail called the Peanut Butter Cafe using our Master Mixes Espresso Mixer. Three ounces of espresso mixer. Yes, there is real caffeine in here. It's a great coffee cocktail mixer. We like to say that it's hard to make a bad cocktail using the master mixes espresso mixer. All right, one ounce of bourbon. Bourbon has uh, some chocolate and even butterscotch notes in it. And I'm reaching over for some peanut butter whiskey. I'm using peanut butter whiskey in this cocktail instead of fresh peanut butter. It's a little easier to work with, brings a lot of great flavor, and it sweetens the cocktail just a little bit as well. All right. Lots of fun there. We need a couple of dashes of chocolate bitters. This is some dark chocolate that uh, brings out some more of the great notes of the coffee and the peanut butter. Ice cubes on top. Just like so, and let's shake it up. Giving it a little bit of an extra shake because this espresso mix makes a great froth on top of cocktails. Wait till you see this. Strain and a fine strainer makes for some nice smooth bubbles on top. I'm just gonna knock some of those right through there. And I have some extra fun for you. I have a perfume atomizer that I found online. Some chocolate bitters inside there over a stencil. There's a little happy face right on top of that foam. So much fun. Just like so, and last but certainly not least, big piece of chocolate. And here comes our fresh creamy peanut butter on the garnish. And I just rest it on the side of the glass, just like so. Here we have the peanut butter cafe. Here's a great opportunity to bring peanut butter and chocolate together in a milkshake called the peanut butter colada shake. We're also using this great pina colada mix, master of mixes, pineapple and coconut, already mixed together in here with cane sugar, 
It's a perfect pina colada mix, but we can use it for so much more. The creaminess is perfect for dessert style cocktails. So we start off with four ounces of the Master Mixes Pina Colada. Now I'm reaching for some aged rum. One ounce of aged rum complements that Pina Colada mix and some white creme de cacao. You could also use dark creme de cacao if you wish. Both of them are chocolate flavored. The white creme de cacao will keep this drink uh, a nice creamy white. And the big dollop of peanut butter in that glass, just gonna scoop it down here. I'll swirl it around a little bit so I can get it off that spoon. There we go. All of this comes together in a big blender. And if you'll excuse me for just a minute, I have to go get the ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, two scoops of vanilla ice cream. I also have some whipped cream. I'm gonna use that as a garnish. And let's blend this drink up. All right, so while that was blending, you can actually take your hurricane glass. I'm just going to pour a little drizzle of chocolate syrup all the way around the glass. This is going to make this drink so delicious and decadent. Watch as that drips down. Now I take my finished milkshake and just pour it in the glass. Beautiful, look at that. I have some whipped cream. Just like to sprinkle my whipped cream right on top. And I get to garnish this with a peanut butter cup. Here we have the peanut butter colada shake. We'll see you next time.